The Flyers lose 7-0 to the Tampa Bay Lightning in Tampa. Welcome into Post Game Live, presented by Curato Insurance. Ashlyn Sullivan, Al Morgani, back here with you in Philadelphia. This is the worst loss of the Flyers' season. Last 7-0 loss was February of last year, 2023, against the Devils. Now, we knew in pregame they had a lot going up against them. Tampa Bay Lightning, they needed this win, especially at home. Flyers going with five defensemen, but overall, it looked over incredibly quick. Ashton, the best part about this game was the last game. The fact that they beat Florida two nights ago meant, okay, you didn't you'd be bonus time. You go in here if you manage to get a point or two, but boy, this was ugly. And you mentioned it. It starts with five defensemen. What a game. And coach gets thrown out of the game on sportsmanlike conduct, Tortorella. Couturier and Atkinson both get in fights. Uh, Erson's not good, gets pulled after the first period. It was just a, a mess yes. uh, from the beginning. And, and Tampa, as we mentioned, coming in, because they played so woeful in their past game, you knew they were going to come in and just crank it up in the first period. Right, and that's exactly what they did. That brings us to Yingling Presents Logger up four goals for the Tampa Bay Lightning at the start of this game, all from Sam Erson, and this is all what ended up getting him pulled out. Yeah, and this is the, the one nothing goal. That's Kucherov. Everybody goes toward him, and then there's a bit of a screen by Adder in front of the goaltender there, but still a long-range shot. And um, It was a really good pass across this one. Erickson doesn't cover up there in the slot. Now, there is a battle there in front. Looks like somebody takes a whack at his pad just before, but he doesn't manage to grasp that, and there's that goal right in that battle area goes through. This one here is just ugly in that we rarely see that I mean Erson's kept him in so many games early with with good saves and that just wasn't that just wasn't up to par from what we usually see from him three nothing this is the power play it's probably what got got the coach tossed because it was the questionable call on Adder and then you just managed to send it over and blast the shot that gets through right there on a rebound so four nothing it's goaltender switch right there Sandstrom comes in and the uh, you know the coach has had enough of everything tonight Yes, he certainly did. And like we said, John Tortorella thrown out of this game in the first period. And we know John Tortorella, he gets incredibly fired up on the bench and very passionate. And what we believe is he didn't agree with a Ronnie Adder penalty. Yeah. But uh, yeah, because that power play is so good. And you could tell he wanted a piece of the, the official that, you know, come over here. I right. want to talk to you. And there's Connecty trying to get him to go over. No, he's not going to come over. I'm not leaving until you come over. Well, he used a little more colorful language than, than right there. Hey, come, right. You know, come over and it, they were having none of it. Connecty couldn't get him to go over. He didn't want to have any explanation there. Just you got to leave the game. So Tortorella leaves the game. It's four to nothing. It's already a, a tough situation on the bench with five defensemen. So there's a kind of a scramble going on anyway so the Flyers really in this first period there was there was kind of as upset as John Tortorella was at this he just he didn't like the penalty to begin with I'm assuming I haven't heard from him but that's what starts it and then the Flyers just can't recover in Tampa there was going to be a game that they were going to get everything together because they they were just so bad coming into this game. Their last game in Calgary was just horrible. So they came in and they threw their 100% right there in that first period. Right, and you see all over social media that this was the game where John Tortorella and the Tampa Bay Lightning were recognized yeah. for their cup team. So it's a little, uh, I guess, a full circle moment there for John Tortorella in this game. Yeah, and, you know, he's... Um, you know, you go back to that's a long time ago that that's happened. And he just cares about his team right now here, just what's going on here. And like I said, getting those, getting that points in the Panthers game was so important. But still, to go in the way this was lost, the goaltender didn't have a good one. Erickson's been so good. And I think that shows you, Ashton, how important he's been to them mm -hmm. when they haven't had good first periods in terms of coverage or whatever. He's made the big save to keep them in. This game, he didn't make that save, and the game got out of hand pretty quickly. Right, and as we mentioned, the Flyers going with five defensemen today. You had York, Sandheim, Adderd, Stahl, and Johnson, the new guy. And it left you wondering, because Yegor's Mula was out of morning skate for when we believe was an illness, and it left you wondering, why would you not emergency recall someone up to help with this game. Well, you look at their situation, just travel situation with what's gone on, with what it's like here in Philadelphia. They couldn't get anybody there is, is what happened. That's the explanation. So, you know, Sanheim ends up playing about 30 minutes in this yeah. game. And it, fortunately, he got, you know, it looked like he went down with a knee issue. But he came back in the game. So that was a... That was a huge plus because if he'd gone down, really, the, the hopes for the playoffs might have gone right down with him. Absolutely. And Owen Tippett as well, blocking a shot. He comes back. So good news there on the injury front, but not good news for the Flyers. A 7-0 loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning, their worst loss of the season. Stay with us post-game live, presented by Curato Insurance here on NBC Sports Philadelphia.